All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Definitely appreciate the support. Check it out. I want to hear your opinions on this one because really, I'm not a competition shooter. I I'm not. But I see videos here on the internet. You know, some of you guys that I watch, you know, YouTubers do, do a lot of competition, you know, and I typically watch you guys. And to me, it sounds like a really cool thing to do. Now, I don't have the time or the money to invest in that. Right now, I work like crazy. But that will be something that I, I would like to do in the future. And I will, I, I mean, it just seems like a lot of fun. But there's a lot of dilemma, a lot of fight between the competition and the, sh and, and the combat uh, uh, dudes out there. You know, competition is not like combat. And, you know, just because you're really good at competition, it doesn't really matter. Because in a combat situation, uh, you won't be able to do that. And you know what? There's some guys that talk all that and some guys can back it up. But the majority of the guys that talk all that crap can't back it up at all, you know. I think it's hilarious because here in the community, everyone is a ninja and everybody uh, knows everything and everybody, you know, been through all this crazy stuff. But again, you know, when I look at competition versus combat shooting, obviously there's a ton of differences. And the biggest difference is going to be that, you know, in combat, people are shooting at you back. I mean, obviously, it's that. But when I look at the competition shooting and I see some of the guys running courses, what I see is a lot of skills that could potentially transfer into a fight very, very well. You know, I see guys running. I see guys running from point A, point B. I see guys uh, hiding behind this uh, fake made walls. I see guys coming out of the wall and engaging a target i see guys engaging multiple targets i've seen guys transitioning from ar to pistols even from ar to uh to shotguns and, and pistols again i see guys applying basic fundamentals of safety very safe you don't want to be in a firefight and you don't want your buddy to shoot you versus the bad guy because he was playing around not being safe so when i look at the competition guys and i'm watching some of the videos here on my computer I first of all I think it's a lot of fun, and second of all, second of all, I I think that a lot of those skills could be easily transferred to a fight. I really think so, you know. And when I see people criticizing those guys, guys that typically just bench rush, uh, bench uh, shooting, I'm like, dude, that that's way better than bench shooting. All you do is go to the range, pull your target, <sighs> shoot. 100 rounds every three months and go home and you think you're a ninja? I, I definitely think that doing the competition is way, 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 way better than just bench shooting all the time. I really think that you could find some skills that could easily translate into the combat side or maybe the uh, self-defense side. I really do. I mean, some of those guys are shooting guns so freaking quick that it's scary. I mean, some of those guys could put 10 rounds down range very, very fast. I'd be scared of those guys. So, again, what do you guys think? Because I hear a lot of drama. I hear a lot of guys arguing. I hear a lot of guys talking mad crap about the competition shooters, you know. And 90% of the time, they don't even back it up because they haven't been there and done that. But the other percent of the time, there is really not legit. I really think that... Those guys are doing a lot of things or applying a lot of skills that could potentially be transferred into your self-defense fight, into a combat environment, into a survival environment. I really think that some of the skills, based on what I see here, are very, very good. And it takes a very talented person and a lot of training and a lot of discipline to get to that level. So I don't see how easily we're, you know, a little bit of a spin to what they're doing could potentially, you know, uh, transfer really well into the self-defense and combat operations. I really don't think why not. But again, I want to hear your feedback. What do you guys think about that? Put comments down below. And as always, God is in control.